Are you curious about what life is like on China's new space station, Tiangong? Join us as we explore the capabilities and features of Tiangong. From its modern design and advanced technology to the exciting science experiments being conducted on board. We'll also take a closer look at the daily routines of the astronauts and the close-knit community that they've formed living and working in space. So sit back, grab some popcorn, and let's blast off into the exciting world of space exploration. China has made great strides in its space program in recent years. With successful missions to the Moon and Mars, and now the completion of its first permanently inhabited space station, Tiangong. With this accomplishment, China has firmly established itself as one of the world's top three space powers, along with the United States and Russia. Before we get into what life is like on Tiangong, let's take a closer look at the space station's capabilities. The Tiangong space station is the culmination of three decades of Chinese manned space program work. It is 180 feet long and is made up of three modules that were launched separately and then joined together in space. One core module can accommodate up to six Taikonauts. Yes, the Chinese astronauts are known as Taikonauts. In addition, the space station has an external robotic arm that can support activities and experiments outside of the station, as well as three docking ports for resupply vehicles and manned spacecraft. Unlike the International Space Station, which is built and operated collaboratively by the United States, Tiangong is entirely built and operated by China. This reflects the country's self-reliance policy and represents an important step towards achieving larger space ambitions in a changing landscape of power dynamics in space. In comparison to the ISS, Tiangong has a more clean and modern appearance. It resembles a space station from a science fiction film. If you've ever seen footage of life inside the International Space Station, the interior of China's Tiangong Space Station might surprise you. While both stations have a 14-foot diameter, Tiangong has a much more spacious and open design. This is all because of its experiment modules which are longer and nearly twice the length of the ISS's Destiny Lab. But it's not just the extra space that distinguishes Tiangong. Its technology is more advanced and compact, with many systems communicating wirelessly rather than via a tangle of cables. You might also notice that the Chinese Taikonauts on Tiangong prefer to keep their feet on the ground and are frequently strapped in rather than floating around. When it's time to sleep, they each have their own private bunk room with curtains for privacy. Tiangong has a sleek and modern appearance, with plain white panels that cover much of the technology when they're not in use. This spacious lab assists in its primary function of conducting research on life in space, with a focus on learning about the growth and development of various types of plants, animals, and microorganisms. Over 1,000 experiments are planned over the next 10 years. While Tiangong is entirely Chinese-built and managed, China has invited other countries to collaborate on experiments aboard the station, with nine projects from 17 countries chosen so far. Tiangong, in addition to advancing scientific research, serves as a launching pad for China's future space missions. The country intends to launch a new space telescope called Xiantian in December of 2023 which will map stars and supermassive black holes, among other projects. Xiantian will dock with Tiangong for maintenance on a regular basis, with a resolution similar to the Hubble Space Telescope, but a wider view. China also intends to launch multiple lunar missions in the coming years, including a manned mission by 2036. Tiangong will be critical to these missions because it will serve as a training ground for Taikonauts as well as a testing ground for technologies that will be used on the lunar surface. This space station also will serve as a stepping stone towards China's ultimate goal of sending humans to Mars. The harsh conditions of living and working on Mars will necessitate significant technological and infrastructure advancements, and Tiangong is expected to provide China with an invaluable opportunity to conduct research and experiments that will aid in the development of a successful manned mission to Mars. But what is life like for the Taikonauts who live and work on Tiangong? The space station, according to reports, has a very minimalist and modern design with plain white panels that conceal much of the technology. 
The modules on the station are large, with a total of 110 cubic meters of space, and there are six bunk areas for the Taikonauts to sleep. The space station also includes a gym, a kitchen, a bathroom, all of which are necessary for the crew's health and well-being. Taikonauts have a full, busy day on Tiangong, with a variety of tasks and experiments to complete. They devote a significant amount of time to scientific research, such as studies on plant and animal growth and microorganism development. They are also in charge of maintaining the station and its systems, including repairs and spacewalks. Spacewalks, also known as extravehicular activities or EVAs, are the most exciting part of life on Tiangong. Three of China's own EVA suits are on the station, stored in the experiment module's airlock. Spacewalks are aided by a combination of two robotic arms on the station, one on the core module and one on the experiment module. What's really cool is that the two can combine and function as a single arm, which is comparable to the capabilities of the ISS's 55-foot Canada Arm 2. Tiangong's dual arm system is far more useful in many ways. The 33-foot arm was recently used in a spacewalk in mid-November to install a series of inter-module connection devices, which are essentially handrails that allow the crew to easily traverse around the exterior of all three modules. Despite the difficulties of living and working in space, the Taikonauts appear to have adjusted well to life on Tiangong. They have a close-knit community and frequently spend their free time together, playing video games and watching movies. According to reports, they also maintain their physical health with regular exercise routines and have access to a variety of healthy food options to nourish their bodies in microgravity. However, living in close quarters with limited privacy can be difficult, and Taikonauts must be mindful of their actions and words to maintain a harmonious living environment. They must also be cautious not to introduce any unwanted germs or bacteria into the space station, because even a common cold can have serious consequences in Tiangong. Despite these challenges, the astronauts have described their time on Tiangong as a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. And they are proud to be part of China's expanding space program. They hope that their Tiangong work will inspire future generations to pursue careers in space exploration and pave the way for China's ambitious plans to explore the moon and beyond. In addition to scientific and technological advancements, the space station serves as a symbol of China's growing global influence. China is now considered a major player in the space race, alongside the United States and Russia, as the third country to operate a permanent space station. This is a significant accomplishment for a country that was previously regarded as a developing nation in terms of space exploration. Tiangong's success also exemplifies China's self-reliance policy, as the space station was built entirely and is entirely operated by the Chinese. This is in contrast to the International Space Station, which is a collaborative effort led by the United States. The International Space Station has been continuously occupied since November of 2000, and it has been visited by over 230 individuals from 18 different countries. The ISS serves as a platform for a wide range of scientific experiments in fields such as biology, physics, meteorology, and astronomy. It is also the testing ground for technologies that will be used in future space missions by NASA, such as manned missions to the Moon and Mars. It is a collaboration between the United States, Russia, Japan, Canada, and even the European Space Agency, or the ESA, with each country contributing both financial and technical resources to the ISS. Not only that, the collaboration allows the participating countries to share knowledge and expertise. However, China is the lone warrior in its space station, and as China advances in space exploration, Tiangong will undoubtedly play a key role in its future plans. This space station exemplifies China's growing space capability, whether it's conducting cutting-edge scientific experiments or serving as a stepping stone to deeper space missions. It is also a tribute to the Taikonauts who live and work on the space station pushing the limits of what is possible and adding to our understanding of the universe. It will be fascinating to see what Tiangong and China's space program achieve in the coming years, and we can't wait to see what new discoveries and innovations emerge from this incredible location. We hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, and watch these ones as well.